Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I am standing in front of a 12,000 mile 1978 Cadillac here guys. All original and you're going to love checking this one out. So go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. We'll put it up on the lift so you can see just how nice the bottom side is. We're going to pop the hood, take a look at the motor compartment. We're going to look at that plush interior. We're going to look inside the trunk. We're going to show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your Cadillac investment. So come on up and let's fire this Cadillac up. Look at this beauty. That chrome is all original. That grill's original. The paint is original on the car. Now the hood is showing a tiny bit of wear on the hood here. Other than that, the paint on this car is phenomenal. Straight as an arrow. It's got brand new wide whites on it. Great looking hubcaps. Of course, it's a Cadillac, guys. You can tell this vinyl top has lived indoors its entire life. It is in beautiful shape. And those doors open smooth as can be. Look at that interior. Man, this thing is sweet. We're actually out driving it earlier, so I've actually I had the pleasure of driving this thing already. Those seats are comfortable. And look at this. We even get a matching sports jacket with this thing. Check that baby out. That comes with the car, guys. I'm not putting it on. <laughs> this thing's beautiful. Paint on the deck lid looks great also. She's straight as an arrow. Chrome on the back bumper looks good. I love these little doors too, look at that. Usually those are broken. Looks like we've got a uh, spare tire in here, car cover, trunk's nice and clean inside. We got nice paint on the bottom side. And watch this. Look how that baby screws right down, pulls it down tight. And looky here guys, curb feelers. We had one of the guys at the shop said, hey, the curb feelers are only on one side. I said, you only need them on one side. <laughs> Unless you're gonna park your car backwards on the road. Look how nice and clean everything. Oh, you see that? There's a bunch of eight track tape plays in there too. So if you're an eight track guy, we got a few come with the car. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we spend the time to check these cars out before we buy them. When they get here to the shop, we inspect them so we can answer any questions you have about the car. So call us at 248-974-9513 and Tom will tell you anything about this car you want to know. So let's go out and drive this baby now. guys let's cruise this yacht where do you want to go let's go to Florida let's drive to California let's drive somewhere man this thing is comfortable I tell you I'm gonna take this front seat out and put it in my living room watch a football game this baby is comfortable 1978 caddy here only 12,000 miles what an amazing machine now I know you guys that watch videos all the time know my grandpa did, was he was a John Deere guy and uh, grandma always had a Cadillac, he always had an Oldsmobile, grandma's Cadillac was always yellow and I actually got to drive that Cadillac in grandpa's funeral when I first turned 16 years old. So sad day, first day I got to drive a Cadillac, I'll never forget it. It was uh, right around uh, 78 or 79 I think grandpa died in 79 so it very well could have been a 78 that I was driving I tell you this car drives amazing it's like it's a 2017 
Just an amazing ride here. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this caddy anywhere in the world. So you just call Tom at 248-974-9513. Where are you gonna find another one with 12,000 miles? Look down here on the dash, 12,210. And I tell you, when we get underneath it and you take a look at the bottom side, you'll know this car is super low miles, always lived indoors. Everything on the dash is working. Everything's beautiful. And then I always love this. Look at that. Got the t temperature out there on the rear view mirror. Isn't that cool? I always thought that was so cool when I was a kid. Just an amazing machine here, guys. Cadillac really knew what they were doing when they built these cars. Like I said, road trip, I'm ready. I'm gonna make this my daily driver. I'd love to drive this back and forth to work every day. What a sweet ride. So we bring in about 40 new cars a month. So keep a close eye on YouTube, Facebook, and our website. You never know what we'll have tomorrow. Call Tom at 248-974-9513 and he'll tell you just how easy it is to park this dude in your drive. If you'd like to come visit us, we're only 20 minutes from the airport if you need to fly in. If you want to drive in, we're here on Saturdays till 3 o'clock. Watch out for the UPS truck. Here's our shop right here. We're at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. Now stick with us because we're going to do something that nobody else does. We're going to put this baby on the lift so you can see how nice the bottom side is. Then we're going to pop the hood and see what's making that glide power for the expressway. All right, guys, this is the underside of this 78 Cadillac. Unfortunately, Greg's out of town, so uh, you're stuck with me for uh, the end of this video here. Um, and from what I've heard, this thing drives pretty darn nice, so I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't get to uh, get to drive this one. Uh, underneath, I mean, it is, it, it really is surprising. I, I, I had to double take, you know, what, what I was looking at here when I was underneath here. Full primer to underside. Looks like the original tank in this, and I say that because it looks like it has the original stickers and stuff like that from the factory. And it's like, it's amazing. It, uh, it looks really, really nice under here. Uh, moving forward to that, you can see even up in here, all the detailing that's up in here is just phenomenal. You can see I mean, a nice black frame, no rust or anything like that. The floorboard looks beautiful. Up here is where all the crap started accumulating and things would start rusting right in here and here on these things, you know, as they got driven. But this thing is a true, like, I, I have never seen one this nice underneath. Um, and of course, all the emission stuff looks like it's all still there. No one has monkeyed with it. No one has tampered with it. I mean, it's phenomenal. We've got disc brakes on either side of the uh, the uh, Cadillac rear end here. Um, of course, you know, the other power disc brakes. Uh, of course, there's no caliper leaks or anything like that. We always check that stuff, although it's not nearly as complicated as the drum brakes. Um, this Cadillac rear end is a posi, and uh, it has a uh, really uh, a really large gear ratio of. 2.25 to 1. That means this car, if a motor would pull it, would do about 180 miles an hour. But uh, that gets you that excellent gas mileage. You can hop up on the freeway and basically idle. And it's not, it's not trying that big old Cadillac V8 at all. Uh, moving forward to that, I mean, look at the floor pans. It really doesn't get much nicer than this. This is nicer than a lot of high-end restorations that we've seen here. And this is a 1978 Cadillac. This, I, like, I, I'm, I, I'm a dork. This stuff kind of excites me. You can see the exhaust on this is brand new, and if I didn't point it out, it's all brand new back there as well. It actually still has the catalytic converter on it. Uh, no one's cut that off of there, thank God. It actually has the factory uh, little support right here. This is the numbers matching turbo 350, three-speed automatic. Now, that is not an overdrive transmission, which is another reason why they got that monstrously long-legged gear in the back. Um, that's so that you can uh, still get only have a three-speed transmission. These are very rugged, by the way. A lot of drag racers use these. Um, and you know, still be able to get it up on the freeway without really taxing the motor, and you get pretty halfway decent gas mileage for uh, this uh, 425 V8. That is numbers matching that I'll get to in just a second. All the brake lines, of course, are in excellent shape on this car, and if you'll come around to this side here, take a look at this bundle right here that generally is a big rust problem because it always sits behind all of this stuff. I mean, it's, you tell me, you see any rust on that? I mean, it's in really, really nice shape. Uh, of course, front disc brakes, no big surprise there. Um, of course, you know, I already mentioned they were power. As far as the front end goes, I don't see any, uh, any slop, and a lot of the time you get it in the pitman arm and such. Of course, we professionally check all these front ends out. If it needs an alignment, we have a digital alignment rack we do all this stuff on. Um, of course, it looks like it's just had an oil change in it. That looks like a pretty fresh oil filter in it. Of course, we change most of our oils in here anyway. 
Um, looks like a brand new set of shocks in the front. Springs look like they're in good shape. Looks like all the boots look to be fresh on uh, a lot of the front end here, which means that maybe at some point some work was done on this thing just to kind of freshen it up a little bit. Um, of course, it looks like a brand new pitman arm as well. And it is indeed a, let me see your Moog part. Moog parts are really good stuff. I only use that on my car. It actually has a steering shock on this as well. Just it's Cadillac, it's a little bit over engineered. Power steering, it's a Cadillac, you know, something you'd expect to see. All of this up in here, you can see this is all just factory fresh stuff. You can stick your fingers up in all the frame holes and stuff like that. You get absolutely no rust. There's not even, it doesn't even feel rough in here. Like as if pitting has even occurred. Uh, this car, like I said, I had to do a double take when I got underneath this thing. It's really, really surprisingly nice. Uh, of course, all of like your, uh, your sway bar, the bushings are all in really good shape. Disc brakes, of course, we, you know, front and back, like I mentioned, we check them out. Tires are in pretty good shape, both front and rear. And speaking of that, I guess we'll go through tires now and then they can tell you about the, uh, the 425, if I'm not mistaken, under the hood. Okay guys, American Classic, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know if you really necessarily call this a wide white, but it is a wider white, like a medium sized white, we'll call it that. 225, 75 R15 with the stock uh, hubcaps on it. Like I said, the tread life looks like it's pretty good on the thing and the alignment uh, from the tread wear, I can tell is pretty good on this car. Um, let's go check out the rears. All right guys, for the back, same size tire, two, uh, 225, 75 R15s, which means you can uh, rotate these. Same good looking white wall, same good looking rim. Uh, you know, you get a couple little scuffs here and there, but I mean, I'd have to say for a survivor car, uh, that's pretty darn impressive. Um, and I keep using the term survivor. I think the, the underside of this car has been freshened up at one point, but I mean, they caught it to seal this thing where that way there no rust can take hold. Once you, you know, you top coat this a little bit, the rust won't, won't actually go in and, you know, you won't, you won't get surface rust on bare metal, I guess I should say. Um, and of course the paint looks to be all factory on this thing. I and mean, you can look all the way down, down the side of this car. It's, uh, once again, it's pretty astonishing. Uh, so that all being said, let's go take a look at the numbers matching 425 cubic inch Cadillac V8 underneath the hood. Okay guys, under the hood of this thing, like I had mentioned, a numbers matching 425 cubic inch Cadillac V8. 1978, this engine made 180 horsepower, which is not that impressive, but for 1978 it actually is. It's when the government got, when got a hold of all the emission stuff and they really clamped down. So horsepower numbers went down, but this thing does actually make a pretty darn impressive 320 foot-pounds of torque, which is quite a bit. Uh, once again, big old Cadillac V8 engine and it runs like a freaking top, man. Um, carburetor on this thing is numbers matching as well. I ran the numbers on this Quadrajet 4 barrel. This thing even, uh, it, it's Cadillac specific, 1978 specific, automatic sp specific. It is the right carburetor for this car. It has probably never even been off of this car. Um, like I said, this is the numbers matching engine, the VIN number in the back. I checked it myself with matches. I checked the tag on the uh, transmission, which specifies 1978 correct, and the VIN number matches. Um, I mean, it, do, it really doesn't get that much better than this. this. This is a numbers matching true blue. It's, if you want basically a 1978 brand new uh, Cadillac, this is about as close as you're gonna get. Um, outside of all of that stuff, of course, you know, all the hoses, if they have been replaced, uh, they have survived very, very well. And I don't believe they have been replaced because uh, of course they don't make all like a lot of the repop stuff for this Cadillac that you would you know, have for a lot of the very, very common uh, muscle cars since, you know, 70 Chevelles, they make all these hoses for these to make it look factory original. I don't say, I don't think that they do that for a lot of these Cadillacs and it still has all the factory GM stampings on it. Everything in here does which is uh, implacatory of this thing being just extremely well kept. I mean, you can see there's really not any surface rust in here for heaven's sakes. And a lot of this, that's just, you know, water spots or something like that where we might need to wipe that off before we actually go ahead and shoot pictures of the car. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Power brakes, power steering. I mean, it, it's a Cadillac, what do you expect? So all that being said, if you'd like to have this thing parked in your garage, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this caddy in your driveway.